15, 18, and 19, where it says, If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. But as it is, you don't belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. And he said, And you will go and bear fruit in my name, and your fruit shall remain. And I just started sobbing. I mean, I just, it was like heaven came down on top of me. And I began to weep. And then this beautiful heavenly language came out of my mouth. And I began to speak in a heavenly language. And that's where my ministry and destiny began. I was raised in a Methodist church where, you know, they, they don't speak in tongues there. It's uh, very limited. But that's where I, I was brought up. It was a foundation. But God says, I've got more for you. And so, you know, God chooses people. He calls you out sometimes of families like he did Abraham when he was Abram. And God called him to leave his kindred and those around him uh, because it was idolatry there. And God says, follow me. And Abram became Abraham. God says, I'll bless you and I will make you uh, uh, bless you and I will uh, make you a great nation. And I will curse those who curse you and I will bless those who bless you. And he gave me that scripture. And so I left Alabama, went to West Virginia, where I lived by faith and learned how to walk in the spirit and how mm -hmm. to trust God. And I read the Bible all the way through Matthew first, the New Testament. Mm -hmm. He said, I want you to go through the New Testament first and then go to the Old Testament. And so he took me through the Bible and he began to speak to me prophetically. Uh, the first time I heard his voice was in a swing after I received the Holy Spirit and I was reading in the book of John, John the Beloved. And I was reading and I heard a still small voice behind me say, I love you. And I turned around and I was looking like, who said that? <laughs> so I went back to reading and the Lord, it was him. And he said my name. He whispered, Leanne, I love you. And I just started sobbing again. And I said, Master, whatever you want from me, I'm yours. And that's how my journey began. And so he began to speak to me and show me things and reveal things to me before they ever happened. But I have to say, it's about intimacy. The Lord wants you to be drawn unto him, not to denomination at first or wherever you're planted in a church. But the intimacy is with him. It's called a relationship, not religion. Uh, Jesus says the letter kills. It's the spirit that gives life. 